Hey guys, have you ever bought a piece of hunting equipment, a backpack or anything, and it might not have been the exact color that you were wanting? Well, today I've got this Everly Stock X2 pack that we bought, and it did come in a camouflage pattern, but I really wasn't crazy about the pattern it came in. But uh, we bought these to uh, help us tote our saddle hunting equipment in, our, our sticks and our Predator platform, along with our camera gear. It's got a lot of good compartments here. Later on, we'll do a video on that. But today's video is I'm going to teach you how to turn a khaki colored backpack or piece of hunting equipment into a camouflage pack. Basically using the colors that you see here that you can purchase at any of your large box stores. With that being said, I also have some natural sponge. It's going to help us to get that bark color and some black nitrile gloves. That is just something extra to keep you from having to wash your hands because you're going to get paint on you so it's best to use those if possible. That being said, let me put this to the side guys. You'll want to do this well in advance of hunting season. I did that pack maybe a month or so ago. That way to give it time to air out before hunting season. Um, put it outside on your porch under a shed or somewhere and just leave it be and it'll air out. The good thing about it is we're already at the base color that it takes to make a good tree bark pattern, being the khaki color. Uh, that would be this color here, which we'll be not using on this backpack since we already have the base color for that. Let's get started. All right, how these colors are going to be applied is, of course, we started out, we have the khaki color. Next, you're going to be using your OD green. Then after that's going to be the dark brown. So I'm going to use the OD green for his logo and basically just lay it down and try not to get it on his camera hey, there's one There's two. And you can take and put as many little logos as you want. Sky's the limit with what you can do on ours. I think on mine I did one here, one here, and I did, I think, one on each side. Find a good flat area. Lay your stencil. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it will all come together. Pair of scissors or just tear it with your hands. Get you a small piece of this natural sponge. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start out like I said with the OD green. Get you either a paper plate, piece of paper or something, and just spray you a good, good blob there and saturate your sponge. Really get it saturated. And we're just gonna start blobbing it on. I'm gonna stay away from the logo where we can continue to see it. And as it gets a little bit lighter, you'll have to respray.
like I said, we're starting out here with this OD green. And I guess a lot of it's just going to be, you know, your personal taste of how dark you want it to be. Darker in some areas, a little lighter in others. You got to remember, we've still got one more color to apply. So in that little area there, that's all the green that I'm going to apply there. I'm going to go through the rest of the pack. I'm going to undo all the little snaps. I'm going to do all the sides, anything that would be exposed while I'm hunting, uh, whether it be turkey hunting or deer hunting. So we're not going to bore you with all of that. I'm going to continue with this color here and I'm going to complete the pack with the OD green. Then when we come back to the next color, we'll bring you guys back with us. All right, guys, like I said, you can go as crazy as you want with any one of these colors to uh, break up that bright outline. I've about got it to the point to where we're happy with the OD green that we've applied. And you can see I'm just basically spot jumping around through here. That way I've got a even distribution of a little bit dark, a little bit light, because you guys, when you look through the woods, you can see light and dark, so. And the good thing about this paint is it dries very quickly, so you can move on to your next color. And I'm even gonna use the same sponge. Next, we're gonna apply the dark brown. It's good and shaking up well. It may take you a few times to get the green out of your sponge, but we're just going to repeat the process I just went through and I'll give it some dark. And you'll be amazed at how that will help this blend in against trees. But on something this large here, it's kind of a slow process. It may take you 30 or 45 minutes to do it, but you just got a lot of surface area that you're having to cover. And you may not want yours as a camoed up is the one that we're doing here. But we'll be using this packs during turkey season and I surely don't want that khaki color sticking out while I'm turkey hunting. So that's about all there is to this part. We'll uh, continue on with our dark brown and when we get completed We'll show you the end result. All right, guys, as you can see, I think they both turned out pretty good. My pack I did months ago, Chris's pack we just did today. Probably been about 30 minutes since we did the initial camouflage job and it's already dried. What I suggest you do is hang it up to where it'll air out at least a month, maybe less, then go out there and take and put you some gloves on and rub over it and what it'll do It'll take off any excess paint, shake it out, and you're good to go. As you can see, this is a good DIY tip on camouflage and something that you'd have bought from the store, otherwise not happy with the camouflage pattern. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If this is helpful in any way, please subscribe, and please hit that bell button where you'll be notified of all of our uploads. Guys, y'all have a great day, and happy hunting.